Uh, welcome to this video. Last time we made this door here, where you can click and it does this cool rotation thingy. And now we're gonna make a sliding door. I just copied this door and just changed it a bit. And I used the same weld script from the last time to weld all the parts to the space now, not hinge anymore. I just changed it from to the parent that hinge to base, like in the other door from the last video. We had here the same script with hinge. Now I'm gonna, I have this door here, a little bit modified, duplicated, and we'll just put it same door here also. And instead of having the click detector in the door model this time, I will put it into the sliding door. Plus, I will just clone this one part here and call this detector. Make it a little bit visible for a second to actually see stuff. And I will make it like 10. Uh, a little bit much. Six. Uh, make it invisible again. And the can color can color die to false. So I should probably do play here now. So we have now here the door. We can click. Nothing happens still. And an invisible detector. So if you go near the door, it also opens. Now we will get to the scripting. I cleared the script from last time. And I will start with a debounce again. And also do after this some other stuff. One of the door models I will call door model one and other one two. Um Then I will do get the object property of the model one base C frame. No, oh, no, we will not do this yet. We will do one the click detector interaction with the click detector, and also we're gonna do touched our touched event with the detector and. To the part touch block, there I think also is a tutorial somewhere. Yeah, basic touch edit here. I think I did some touch tutorial some time ago. So if you want to know some stuff about this, you can watch it. And we will output the hit part. So, like, our uh, humanoid root part or something will get here with the output part of the detector that is this part here is getting touched then we will find the find this chat hit part dot parent so if we would be in the check then now we could find a humanoid and all the connected blocks to find the chat one now so we don't need a result and we will connect both of this with this and we will not i will not check for a player because may, maybe if you have npcs that walk around the door would also work if you would check if it's a player it would not work anymore now we're gonna do if debounce yeah equals to false we can set it to true. And after everything ended, we will set it to false again. Now, what I will do is get the object property of the base C frame, base one origin, I'm gonna call this. The same we will do with two. And if you just want to 
do that stuff with only one door part. So I will, this door will be like this thing goes here and this thing goes there. But you can also do this with only one part if you want to. Depending on what you like. I'm doing it with two so you know how to do it. Then we will get also the object property. Uh, the base. Like the base is basically the sides of the door. And we will get the sides of the base. We're gonna call this base sides one. Same also with two. And yeah, I'm recording, that's good. <laughs> uh, there we have two. Now we will could actually just do like this. So it looks a bit more organized. So this row for one, this for two. Now we will do split back to three. And now you will look, depending on how you made your base, like you will look for this side here from this side to this side this would be for me the x4 like for change to the sides we need so this would be the x for me so we gonna use this variable and just gonna base size one we i don't need the rest of the side so i just override this variable same size as for this and then what i will do i don't want it to go like that i want it to like look just a little bit out if it's at the end of the tween so what i'm gonna do is um do a subtraction of the base sides, like I uh, know, point two, not not minus two, point two. We'll put the same output, and the same we will do for this. Like if you only want one door, you just remove this line of code because we would not need that. Um. Then. What I will do is do, 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 do. yeah. We will do a construct back the tree with the. Now I have to play a little bit around with it. Maybe maybe I do it first try. See if I offset with the day sides one i will use here here too i just use the same way i was now i'm too lazy to change that mm, then we like a c frame out of this like c frame offset c frame offset then goes for this i don't even need to change that then i'm gonna multiply that with the so I will multiply the base one origin with the C frame offset and this will be the target C frame. Same we do with the two and we will train the object property of the base the C frame to the variable target C frame. Right, I will use number one. We can make a variable if you want to, like beam speed or something. And then we just put it with a variable there. Yeah, you can play around with it if you know what you want to do. Same I will do with two now. Then what I'm actually gonna do is 
connect it like uh, gonna connect it like this so i first get a one then a two origin and then i do this stuff here because it has to do with wet studio calling what i'm gonna do now I'm gonna wait the 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 the, 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 the tween speed plus another wait like it should be open then for three seconds or something depending on what you want to do then i'm just gonna copy these blocks and set the base c frame back to the base one origin and the same with base two origin do another wait with the tween speed and then technically it should work maybe not oh let's actually make this one transparent again only one way to find out let's go, go here play and let's see oh kind of works so what i did when i made the door two i didn't rotate it like in my case if the door is the exactly same rotated i can just rotate it and play it then it should work like with the tweening you have to play around with it a little bit you can also click it if you want to but if you can't rotate your door like if it looks different if you rotate it what you would have to do for the number two is here after you subtract it multiply it with minus one and now both the doors are same rotated and now it, oh, i'm pressing the wrong button again now both of the doors should do the same even if they rotate it and if the door maybe moves up or back not like how you want it to you have to play around with where is it with the construct vector tree like move this to maybe z or y depending on this depends really on how you rotate your base and now what this thing automatically does i think if i would now clone the door and i would now do this side here maybe do, do, do. make this side a little bit uh, where is it this one here if i would make this now bigger and put this to the same sides like make the base part to the same sides of the door like that and that yeah this door looks weird now but yeah wait and now i put the detector here like make the base the same size of the door model so what happens now if i touch it it would also go to the same thing it would it, it, it looks a little, little bit faster because it's bigger but it's at the same position at the end we have here two doors you can play around with it a little bit maybe make it clean faster make it less long open you could change it maybe to sign out or something there you just with the easing style and direction you just have to play around like maybe sometimes the doors are lagging a bit little bit because 
Retro Studio sometimes, but yeah, that's a tutorial. Cool. If you have any ideas for other things you don't know how to do, write them in the comments or something, I don't care. And I, if I, if I think about it, I will put the model ID of the store in the description so you can use it or change stuff of it if you want to. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.